all the land. So the physics four step, again, uh, Kurt can demonstrate this a little bit later. It's a series of four instruments, an upper right, upper anterior, upper left, and a lower universal instrument. Oftentimes, these are the only instruments that I'll use to remove a tooth. And um, it is a lever. It consists of two, uh, two components, a beak, which is a shovel-shaped edge, which will engage the lingual or paddle, palatal aspect of a root one to three millimeters subgingival. It is the working end of the instrument. We must create tension on this beak area to get the tooth to luxate up and out of the socket. The bumper, and you can see in this photo, the upper area of this, this photo with the green little silicone covering is not the working end of the instrument. It's, it is actually just a center of rotation for this innovative lever to work. It's not holding the facial plate of bone. It's only acting as a center of rotation so that we can create energy on the palatal aspect of this tooth. That energy will result in a physiologic reaction where an enzyme will be released by the body, which will break down the periodontal ligament. What's holding that tooth in place? The periodontal ligament. If the periodontal ligament is destroyed, that tooth will luxate up and out of the socket following the arc of rotation of that instrument. 